Hey everybody. Okay, so I'm going to try and do a creative writing tutorial um, set of videos. I honestly haven't figured out a perfect format yet. Um, I did create like a, a, a PowerPoint for the first tutorial, but it's really short. And when I was just speaking off of that PowerPoint, my video was only like five minutes long. So I'm going to try just speaking from the heart and then post the PowerPoint as like a reference for it. So my first tutorial is about taking your basic plot and turning it into or taking your basic idea and turning it into like a whole plot. And with that, what I really wanted to touch or stress on that is your idea doesn't need to be super in depth. Your basic idea is literally a just an idea that came to your head that went, huh, that would make a really good story. So what I what I did was in the tutorials I use my short story frogs friends and fairies because I'm still working on that so that's what I'm using as an example so as I work on that and as I make these tutorials you can see like what my process is for writing it's not like the guaranteed 100% this is the way you do it it's just the way that works the best for me personally um would love to see what Stephen King's writing process is like I'm just that would be freaking amazing but anyway basic idea turning into a plot i keep looking off screen because i ordered something for dinner and i'm just making sure i don't forget that um my basic idea was a boy captures a fairy in a jar that was the idea i started with i was like huh okay that would be an interesting story from there i decided where in that idea did i want the story to start so I wanted it to legitimately start with him catching the fairy and that's what I did so what my next steps were for that were to list the chain of events that you want to have happen so I had boy catches fairy in jar boy decides to keep fairy shows fairy to his friends wants to keep the fairy a secret but his friends don't had a falling out with his friends and boy frees fairy sorry spoiler alert he frees the fairy in the end so that was the main events um, you don't have to list them in order, just stuff you want to have happen and then reorganize them later. But I tend to do it in the order that I want it to have happen as it's going along. And like on a separate page, be like, this could happen, this could happen maybe. Um, and then from there, once you've got that, your main events, which is your, your main plot basically, is that chain of events right there. Well, this is the plot. This is what happens. This is the important stuff that I want readers to read basically and then from there i did subplots now subplots they are important to stories they are very very integral to the whole story because it gives more to the reader and it helps develop the character further um if you just read like caught a fairy in a jar showed his friends let it go without adding like that underlying like tension and drama and stuff it'd be a very boring story if, if that at least to me that's how I try to put it they're like side quests they help build the character they help you get more invested in the character and what's happening so that by the end of the story you feel for the character and the choices that they make and the things that they go through no matter what the story is so I firmly believe that subplots are important so my subplots were there weren't that many it's a short story so I didn't really have a lot because I don't want it to be like too much inside of a story but it was the boy starts to feel very protective of the fairy he has a crush on one of his friends but he's not really like aware that it's a crush crush but they're like little nine-year-olds so it's kind of like the crush feelings but he's nine so it's like what is this but he has feelings for one of the friends the two friends want to show people the fairy to like make money off of it and like little kid way we can get so many games we can get all this candy stuff like that they want to make money off of it and that's what causes the falling out in the story as well so and then at the end the boy feels it's his responsibility to take care of the fairy in any way that that means hence why he releases the fairy so that is the process that I usually do to get a story idea flowing a bunch of lists I'm a big fan of making lists uh, no matter what it is writing reading chores housework remembering to do things I'm a big fan of lists they help keep your thoughts in order I would recommend like a notebook designated to this story or like the short story that you're gonna write you could just you, know, you can section it off as you're writing it 
also it's just it makes more sense to have it all there so when you go to write it you have the notebook there with your idea in it and your plot and stuff um so you put those subplots in between like where they need to go in the main plot and my powerpoint that i'm gonna attach to this if i can figure out how to do that because I'm, I'm not that technologically smart um yeah well, if i figure well, once i figure out how to do that i'll attach the powerpoint to show you guys th th what i'm talking about now so that it makes more sense and you can like even have it up while i'm talking um but that is usually how i do like the plot so i take my basic idea i list my main events and i miss my subplots i list my subplots not miss them and then from there if i like what i have there i will move on to what the next step is which is creating characters which for that it will be an entirely different video so it depending depending on the story you might need chapters so if you're doing a short story what you have right now is perfect for writing the story you've got your sequence of events and how it's supposed to happen you can write the story off of that once you get your characters figured out for longer pieces with chapters and parts you want to designate for each event that you did how many go in this chapter how many go in this chapter so after you've got that point plot done chapter plots very important this one isn't in my tutorial but i'll probably add the page because it's not in my tutorial right now because i was going to do a whole other section on chapter plots but i realized i can lump them together in this one because it's all doing the thing all doing the same thing it's structuring the story to start writing the story i would recommend before you do chapter plots do the character creation which is going to be its own video because i think i have a lot to say about creating characters but i think and do different things so we'll see i recommend yeah create your characters and then you can do the chapter plots because then you can place them where they need to be in the sequence of events and in the chapter plot instead of going character a does this character b does this you can already have your your characters in mind while you're doing the chapter formations it, it'll make more sense while you're trying to um get the story flowing i guess get the story in your head in your blood ready to write chapter plots yeah take the take sections of your main events like these should all happen in chapter one these should all happen in chapter two this shouldn't happen until chapter five things like that so that your story flows smoothly enough so it doesn't feel like jagged i guess is the word i'll say so it doesn't feel like we're abruptly stopping a story and going on to another one that's not what your chapters should feel like. Your chapters should feel like they they intertwine with each other. So properly putting your chain of events into the chapters in a way that you can like smoothly transition to the next chapter without going, this is the end of a chapter. The next chapter is coming. That's important also because that kind of takes the reader out when it's like an obnoxious, this chapter is done type of thing. I hope this is making sense. I feel like I'm just rambling, but I like really want to talk about writing and I have so much passion for writing that I hope I hope this is making sense. I may just upload this now to get it out there and then go back and like actually write a script for what to talk about, but I wanted to see how I did with just rambling on. And then from there, you'll have like your whole story planned out, whether it's the short story with just the chain of events or the chapter plots for a novel with like chapter e chapters chapter events i had a really hard time saying that <laughs> events in chapters to flow and make the story good so obviously make your subplots before you do your chapters because then you can decide like where they go also so that you have a full book ready to write that you may change as you write it like it's not set in stone that you have to write it this way because you did it once you start writing you can say well this doesn't actually work i have to do something else here you it happens to me all the time i'll be like well you know what i'm going to change it so it does this i'm going to change so it to add this things like that i hope this made sense this was <laughs> an attempt at the first tutorial again i probably am going to edit and do upload a different one that's more professional i guess but i just wanted to sit and talk about writing and like this is my writing process that i feel if people want to at least get into writing or start writing that this would be a good way to start at least for me at least having like a reference or something to look on to see what i'm talking about 
um, before I upload the uh, the PowerPoint PDF, I'll add a part about talking about chapter plots. And then my next video, I will be talking about characters, so creating characters. And then I'll I plan on talking more about like doing like scen scenery, details, descriptions, how much is too much, things like that. My computer just went to sleep. Hold on. Okay, it's still recording. That was weird. But so I'll talk about like scenery, like detail, how much details, too much detail, like talking about like different tropes that you want to avoid when writing, things like that. So I hope that this was useful. I hope I didn't just ramble too much and it doesn't make any sense. Um, if I start to feel like that, I'll take it down and do a different one just because I get in my own head. But for now, this is what I have, turning your basic idea into a plot. And next time we'll talk about character creation, which is so much fun. I think you're gonna love it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.